Well, adolescents are spending more and more of their waking hours online. And new research has found too much internet use is messing with their brains and changing their behaviour. Demelza Leslie reports. Phones and teenagers go hand in hand, and the constant viewing, tapping and scrolling is rewiring their brains. The teenage years for brain development is the second most important time. First three years, the brain grows more than it ever will, but in adolescence there's a massive reformation. The international research out of University College London shows internet addiction can make a teenager's brain glitch in areas that control attention, planning and making decisions and understanding emotions. In the interaction stuff, the stuff where young people have to learn how to have fights, how to disagree with each other, how to apologise, how to feel offended. And when they're in their early adolescence stage, it's the most important time for forming a new tribe. So this is when all that stuff is prime learning space. This is why teenagers who take part in the spirit of adventure sailing trips are asked to put away their devices. It's like a circuit breaker and in some ways what it does is it, it slows things down so much that young people start to rediscover how they can process and work through solutions. So they learn how to be attentive and work with others. And we need to give our young people a sense of hope now, not a sense of that, that kind of in a world like this, in a world like this, and we need to show them how to look up and look out. So our young people don't find they're only living their lives online. I think the key thing for parents is, is to keep an eye on the balance that young people are maintaining. If they feel suddenly or they see that young people are no longer participating in the things they used to do, if they're, not, um, if they're no longer in a sports team, if they leave a cultural group or a music group that they used to be a part of. A balance that encourages teenagers to put their phones down and spend more time in the real world. Demelza Leslie, News Hub.